I like as well how this is supposed to be a podcast that we've been running for a good couple of months now, but Dave's the one with a better mic setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Nice Guys of Comedy Podcast, with your hosts, Jack Vincent and Nick Crooks. Oh, and by the way, they're from the North, that's the reason they sound that way. Hey guys, this is just Jack the Editor, just interrupting once again, just letting you know that we are doing a video podcast today. Uh, so if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anything like that, it's going to sound a little bit different. Uh, if you can follow us on YouTube at the Nice Guys of Comedy Podcast, you can find us there with a bit more visuals as well. Uh, we also have a guest this episode, Dave Borden. You're going to see here a little bit more from him in a bit in a moment. Uh, just let you know that I'm the one who set up the recording software. So as a result, I'm half the screen. Although you guys have been listening for about 15 episodes, so you do know that I have a huge gob and probably dominate half a conversation. Awkward. Uh, but yeah, you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook at NGOC Pod. Uh, and there's nothing else from us really. Just give us a like, subscribe, share, do all that sort of jazz. Keep it smiling, guys. Here we go! I'm literally just using my PlayStation headset. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, the first, I, I do a podcast with my mate, and the first couple we did, we were using, um, you know, the USB mic that you get with Rock Band, and just plugging that <laughs> right into my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that's a bit of a throwback there. Going to, uh, yeah, that's off there, Nick. Uh, that Rock Band, jeez, didn't even I know. know. <laughs> that really even worked. It's still our still our bring out party game. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I never played it. Oh what? And oh, I never mate. played Guitar Hero. Oh mate, I am I furious. And I <laughs> once I went to like the seaside and they had like an arcade version, and I was like, all oh, right, I'll I'll see how good I am, and I died obviously. <laughs> and I was like, well, no, there's no point in me ever buying this game because I'm shit at it. <laughs> Do you know why what? you need the game? You practice at it. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say that. It's it's the kind of game you get good through practice, but there is no benefit to practicing other than being good at the game. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, impressing not, no one. Yeah. It's not even like you can play the guitar afterwards, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm well good on guitar hero. Watch me play the real guitar now. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You, you're not actually going to create a rock band. You've just and as well, like it's not a long a game that's had good longevity. Like it's dead now. So you've got that yeah. skill you're never going to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just impress three year olds at like family parties or something. <laughs> Watch me play Dragon Force. <laughs> and then you walk away. You do that little yeah yeah. <laughs> you walk. Jeez, how are you anyway? How is lockdown treating you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm still working, so. The weeks tend to be. I work in marketing, so it's uh, the kind of thing that you can do from home, which is good. Um, so the weeks tend to be all right. Like I've still got a bit of structure to it, um, but it's nice not having to travel for work, which is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I suppose if you can ever do a job in your pants, it's always a good job. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the rule to live your life by. <laughs> yeah. That's why strippers I mean, are so happy. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to lie. There's a very good. There's a very good reason why I'm not standing up in this podcast. I'll just put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, also, I'll put a disclaimer enough? out there. I woke up about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream, mate. <laughs> I literally. I've been. I was. My sleeping pattern's messed up, so I've been up since six. And then this afternoon, I was like, I'll have a little nap. And that was at half three. And then I looked at my phone and I went, oh, it's definitely not five o'clock. <laughs> so I was like, you are a typical student. That's yeah. what you are, a typical student. It's really weird because I'm a, a typical student, but I'm 28 years old, so I shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I should be the mature student and I'm the one like, nah, fuck it, can't be asked. <laughs> Uh, I also like how in the background you've got your Comedian of the Year poster there. and I, f- I feel really outranked with both of you in this. <laughs> so I have nothing to my name. <laughs> <laughs> just casually placed in the background. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> just didn't, casually just there. definitely didn't just stick it there beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> definitely going to have to do that now. Uh, these videos, I'm going to set up a thing behind me. <laughs> well, I, I actually re- I was when I when when Nick said you know do you bring on I was like yeah that sounds great fantastic and then I was like shit I've got no awards so at one point I was like I'm gonna go and find every single award that I've ever won for anything and <laughs> turns, I, find them. <laughs> I have a, I've got a medal somewhere for a fun run but that was a participation medal so nice. yeah that, yeah. 
Uh, and then at one point I was like, I'm quite proud of my GCSEs. I might go find them. But then I was like, don't think they're really going to be that much helpful. But <laughs> I'd be just well impressed. Your results on the wall behind you. <laughs> just a picture of them. Not the proper certificate, but you know that one that just outlines them. That, yes. that A4 sheet. Just to, show, just to show people what you're capable of. Just to show my four <laughs> A's. <laughs> <laughs> Or A, three Bs, three Cs, in case you were asked again. You were, but I'm just flexing. Nice, no, that's, that's really impressive. It's better than mine. I took all foundation papers, so I guaranteed myself a C. I can, no, 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 I can do better than this. So I did foundation for science and got a B. And that's oh. horse shit, is that? <laughs> in my defence, I was just as shocked as everyone else. I was like, I didn't think this was possible. But um, it was... So the, the the paper was C, maximum you could get. But we did uh, coursework, which was you can go up to an A. So my coursework was an A, and it, oh, so I, even I, yeah. Well, mine did that with tech because I could I should have done the the I don't know what it's called. What's the non foundation paper called? Higher tier. Higher tier. I should have done that for tech because I would have got an A. Yeah, but it leveled out to a B. Ah, oh, mate, you were robbed. So. I'll tell you, if we're talking about technology at school, I think I were robbed. Halfway through year nine, <laughs> I changed groups. And my school, we had one lesson a week for technology, but that was design technology, woodworking, metalworking, and food tech. We just went on a massive rotation. But I changed groups like twice in a year. And every time I changed it, I, was, I, did, I did food technology for a whole year. <laughs> and that year, we just made bread. So for <laughs> all of year nine, all I did was make bread. You should be like Paul Hollywood now, then. Yeah, but I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> I was going to say, you'll be king of lockdown now, though, making bread. <laughs> well, this tells you how, how I'm not. My sister was saying that, how she really wanted to, she can't buy any flour anywhere. And I was like, why do you need flour? And she was like, to make bread. And I went, why do you need flour then? And I was like, oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't come to me for your sandwiches. I'm going to go into the kitchen now and get my plain flour. So if she watches this, she can be <laughs> envious of my bag of plain flour that I've got. <laughs> you have got it out for my sister. Once you found out she, she was on your wavelength about the zombie ap- apocalypse, you were like, right, I've got it in for Jack's sister. Yeah, she can join my community in the uh, apocalypse anytime. Now that you've got a, a bag of flour, there you go. She's all See, yours. I'm stocked up and ready. <laughs> 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 Jeez. I've also just realised that your funky shirt that you wear is not a shirt, is it? Is that a t-shirt variant? It's a t-shirt my mum bought because she was like, oh, I've bought you a t-shirt. You could wear it on stage, but I don't really like wearing t-shirts on stage, so it's just a knocking home? around the house one. Like, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm currently wearing some Marvel lounge pants with it. So, so. you're just a massive pattern? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I stick out like a sore thumb. So. <laughs> Oh lordy! Well, like I said, is I mean I've got a T-shirt on. I think it might be backwards, but it actually says Jack Social Distancing Club. Everyone thinks that I'm like this martyr who's like got this custom made because it's like huge print on the back as well. There's just a company that's got Jack in their name, so they created this for their company, and it just happens to be my name. So I was like, win. <laughs> How's your podcast going, mate? It's good, man. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, we just have a we just have a real laugh doing it. Like, there's hardly hardly anyone listens to it. We get like messages from one of our mates lives in Canada now, and we just get a message from him every week saying that he's really enjoying it. So we're basically just doing it for him. But it's good. Oh, that's like... so good. <laughs> one one call out to one. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, but um, we just get really hammered doing ours, so it's it's always a good laugh. Like. Maybe we could start getting pissed on ours. This is a tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's gin, in it? Gin in the book. <laughs> so, so for our probably, I'm not going to say hundreds of viewers or listeners, but for the listeners that we do have, what, what is your podcast? What's it about? Who is it with? All that jazz. Uh, podcast is called The Breakfast Club. Uh, it's a weekly podcast where my best mate Mossy and I get absolutely hammered together. And then one of us tells the other one, what they can remember of a film so we try and we try and tell each other the entire plot of a film from memory but whilst drunk uh and it tends to end up getting ridiculous and just very silly uh we've done about 20 episodes now so i think the last last one to go out was james cameron's avatar which we hated 
so that was a very angry episode. And then I think um, Lethal Weapon 2 is the next one to come out this week. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm very glad because, weirdly enough, I was actually going to watch Lethal Weapon 2 today. Nice. That's really <laughs> coincidental. Um, but I actually watched um, Escape Plan 2. You know, <laughs> okay. the, um, the Stallone film. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wasn't hammered in the slightest, but I can't tell you what happened. Like, <laughs> I assume they tried to escape from somewhere, but there was like floating robots at one point, and I was like, I don't understand this anymore. So <laughs> I'd highly recommend it for your podcast then. <laughs> and I'm assuming then that can be found at all the usual places. Yeah, the yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're on all the standards, Spotify and iTunes and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. Sweet. Well, actually, as well, whilst we're here, I mean, we've 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 literally done, gone straight into it. But Nick, do you actually want to introduce the guest? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do like a Ricky Gervais style intro. Yeah, because I I saw like a clip of him fucking it up loads of times, and like Stephen Merchant just messing around with his chair while I'm trying to do the intro. I just thought, do you know what? That's quite funny. I'm not going to mess around with my chair because I've actually got my laptop stacked on a children's fire station. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke. It's like a doll's house. But the but fire, it's a fire yeah. station. And this is, the, this is the, the best bit about it. It's got a pole down the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've got diverse characters of it. There's like, there's a black police officer and a fireman. And then... You know, there's a white police officer and a fireman. There's women. You know, there's a dog. Uh, it's really <laughs> divi- <laughs> diverse uh, character set in this in this fire station. Ticking uh, all them boxes. Yeah. Right. So I will introduce. Uh, I will well, introduce our guest. So today you are um, doing the podcast with me, Nick Crooks, Jack Vincent, as always, and our wonderful guest, Dave Borden. Hi guys, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I meant to ask this because I I got really confused by the chat. Are you are you Dave Borden or David Borden? Uh, technically David, but everyone calls me Dave. Yeah, yeah. All right, because on Facebook you're a David, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know why. I'm not bothered either way. <laughs> I was I swear, just before we came into this and got put in this group. I messaged Nick and I was like, so I started typing out, "Will you put us in a group?" And I went wait, is it a Dave or a David? So then I went to Facebook and it said David. I went, oh, David. And I went, wait, no, it's definitely not a David. <laughs> but then it's like, this is like Nick being like a Nick or a Nicholas. Like, you guys, just get a name. Just stick to one name. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. My gran hates me being called Nick. She will publicly tell you. Like, if you're in the room with my gran and you call me Nick, she'll go, it's Nicholas. <laughs> and i just let her get on with it i don't try and defend it i don't I'm just like right yeah all right whatever oh, my cousin I, does that because my cousin is a danny but on his birth certificate he is danny he's not daniel he's a danny uh, okay. so like he but he went to a really strict like catholic school so like all the and i'm not being this to be like stereotypical the nuns they will literally be taught by nuns were like you are a daniel and he was like no i'm called fucking danny <laughs> Yeah. So I mean, I'd say I feel your pain, but I don't. My, you can't shop mine. <laughs> we My had a lad in our school, school who was, was longer. So what your nickname saying? was longer than your actual name. Yeah, I had two because Jack is a common as shit name. There were like three of us. <laughs> so I was either Jack V, because obviously it's my initial, or which mm. then extended to Jackie V, because people just like to put an E at the end of it. Um, or then when the incredibles movie came out people went through a phase of calling me jack jack so it was always longer th- you can't really sh- i went through a phase where i tried to get people to call me jt because my middle name is thomas but then it just didn't work because that's just in timberlake and i am not just in timberlake <laughs> and also you sound like such a prick being called yeah. like hey jt jt <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a prick doesn't it doesn't jt <laughs> And for them two weeks of my life, I probably was a prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. So, Nick, you got us to do some preparation for this, didn't you? Uh, yeah. 
Well, I just asked a question, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll also like to point out that I kind of don't want to go first with mine because um, I forgot again. Um, so I did this about an hour ago. You and I don't know how... You were asleep for three hours that had nothing to do with it, you know? <laughs> Space, right. <laughs> um, well, no, actually, I'll tell a lie. So I forgot about it. I went to go do it an hour ago and I only had three points. And I was like, when the fuck did I write them down? Um, but yeah, so I'm not really confident that mine are going to be massively like diverse and like, uh, and then in the end, I started writing a list of things I just don't like, which in the end, <laughs> was like, this is just a list of things that has got me. So they're not actually unpopular opinions. They're just things that you don't like. Well, no, like other people not. might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say at least like two to three of these, four maybe, like I don't like, but people really do, so... We'll see how famous that goes. Do you want to you want to start ahead? Go ahead, start with it then, Nick. Right. Well, mine is a pretty simple one. Unpopular opinion. I hate beans, baked beans. I fucking cannot stand baked beans. That's a very strong opinion. Yeah, and even worse if they've got them little shitty sausages in them. <laughs> I can't do with them either. And people <laughs> love them. People are like, oh no, they're awesome. They taste like shit. <laughs> They're like little processed pellets of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Heinz not go with that slogan? <laughs> <laughs> little pellets of shit. I think, yeah, I think that needs to be, be the slogan. I will be honest, I can kind of take them or leave them. Although I, uh, I went to the supermarket and have, do you know how you can get like a normal tin, but then occasionally have like the four pack, but it's like a tin that's that big. I bought them because they were on offer of beans and they were there for about six months. And then I was like, I might, well, give it a go. And I all four in one go. <laughs> no. It won that cracking. Should have like, bought a big tin. Yeah, I realised that. <laughs> then I was like, I should just bought a you big tin. Done, of so you've done nothing there to separate the tin. In fact, you've created more waste. I have. Do you know what? Snowflake in me went, this is just not great for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, you a, are you a bean fan? Do you know what? I'm a, I'm a fan of beans, especially like full English. I just, uh, it's too dry without without something like beans on the side. Um, but I've got... That. Like, yeah, if you have full English, you need some of there. I got yeah. tomatoes. Tomatoes. Bosh. Yeah. That's all I've got, because <laughs> you do, I agree with you, you do need some sort of liquid breakfast variety there on your plate and i don't like beans i've got to go with chopped tomatoes <laughs> i just feel like that's a that's a sad sad full breakfast <laughs> I, <feel like> that's <laughs> I mean i can't comment because i think out of anyone's uh breakfast mine will be the saddest because i'm a vegetarian so mine's oh. a shit well no actually what's really weird is so i prior to being a vegetarian i'm not a huge fan of sausages and i don't really like tomatoes so my full english prior to being a vegetarian was just a bacon butty <laughs> <laughs> and then became and then I soon became vegetarian i hate vegetarian bacon but i'm okay with vegetarian sausages so now i'm kind of i'm i'll, I'll have some i'll just have some sugar puffs like I'll have, I'll have that's your full English. That's my full English. <laughs> now, that's probably worse for you than yeah. a full English. A <laughs> probably. But yeah, I, I I I will be honest. Is as much as David he's a fan of beans, I can take them or leave them. But if as, as as by itself, take them or leave them. But if they're on a breakfast, they need to be there. No, I will always be that guy in a cafe that swaps them out. You know, when when the people at the till think, fucking hell, we've got a knobhead. <laughs> no. Can I swap it for a piece of bacon? No, because they're not the same price. Well, I don't want all else. Uh, I'll just take them off. Just take them off. But then you'll get a strand of one bean that comes on and you're like, fuck, I said no beans. <laughs> <laughs> I do always wonder this about how they come up with the, the English breakfast equivalencies. Like, because they'll always have yeah. something. You know, if you say, can I swap my mushrooms? They'll be like, yeah, you can swap them for one hash brown or something it's like how do you know like what how are you making these up like <laughs> i actually almost i actually went somewhere for some like breakfast brunch thing and i almost turned into like that person in a like a massive karen moment in this because i was like that's <laughs> fucking ridiculous i can't remember where it was i will remember by the end of it so if i randomly scream a restaurant out then it's just because of that went somewhere and it was some sort of like 
full English variant, but it was I was getting like the veggie option, and there was summer in it that I didn't like. I can't remember. What, I think it it was summer. I can't remember what it went anyway. And I said, "Can I exchange this for something?" And she said, "Yes, anything that's not meat." Perfect. So I said, "Can I have some extra halloumi?" And she went, "Oh no, that's not included. That's not me." <laughs> you you chose that. the most expensive thing. <laughs> she said, "No meat." <laughs> <laughs> There's no meat in halloumi, and I, it was, I don't know, I've never, oh, that was it, it was Bills, Bills, right, and I've never been that sort of person, but it really irritated me, and in the end, I think I got an extra piece of toast, and I was very disappointed with the toast. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a ch- cop-out cheap thing as well, you can swap, you can swap it for a piece of toast, well, no, because toast costs them at 4p, <laughs> like a <laughs> exactly. slice is about 4 <laughs> pence to you. You know, yeah. whack a bit of bacon on there, Susan. Let's get it going. <laughs> <laughs> she also like forgot us for an hour, so it wasn't a great, re- a great review. And then she was, you, do you know, when you put your money down and you can tell someone's giving you dirt because you didn't tip him. Like, fuck off, right? You didn't deserve the money. <laughs> so, <laughs> reliving this time of bills now. It's really pissing me off. <laughs> I will. Do you know what? I'm kind of glad that you said, but um beans though because i've got a food one on mine and i didn't think anyone was going to say food because i thought it'd be a bit weird so i'm kind of glad but mine's mine's major hipster right? so on that one I, i'm not a fan of guacamole right and everyone seems to be a fan of guacamole and i can't stand the shitting thing i don't like it either to be fair see it's a weird it's got a weird texture <laughs> and i don't agree that i've got to pay more for something like that not a fan <laughs> It comes on nat- is that it comes on nachos and I think it ruins the fuck out of a nacho. Mm. The only thing that you should have on a nacho. Well, Dave does not agree with this. <laughs> <laughs> Are well, you a fan of quack? My staple <laughs> foods here. I'm not the right person for this conversation because I will eat anything. There's there's very <laughs> little, very little that I won't eat. Uh, my missus hates guacamole, but I I love it on like fajitas, nachos. It's great. Like I, I'm a big fan. I don't even really know what it is. Uh, but I just I just enjoy it. I like well, eating is it. Is it guacamole avocado? Is it? That would make sense. It looks very I think similar. It's just yeah. Pushed up and added. There's like one other ingredient in there. I think so because I thought avoc- you, you you crush avocado to make guacamole, but then you can get crushed avocado. So I'm like, isn't that just avocado? I, I think it's got. It, I want to say like an oil or something in it, you know, to make it a bit more watery. But I'm not 100 percent sure. I just know it, it just looks like snot. <laughs> Dave, though, would you have beans and guacamole together? He would try it. <laughs> Look at his face. He definitely would try it. I paused for too long there. <laughs> yeah, that pause was, was too long. I mean, if someone told me it was all right, then I'd give it a go. I... No, mate, you are a, a comedian. I, I don't know what competition you won, but you're a competition winner. Right? You'd be a trendsetter. You start the trend. Don't wait for someone else to tell you that it's good. Okay. You start it. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm having guac on beans. Next time you get wrecked on your podcast, just midway <laughs> through, go, what, like, what are you doing? I'm just making making just guacamole. Just guac on beans on toast. Yeah, there, that's it. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, agree. I think, I think you could be a trendsetter. I, think, I mean, I don't think it's going to take off, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I think if anyone's going to try it, it's down to you. Okay. To be fair, like Mexican, I'm guessing that's like a strand of Mexican food. So the beans and guacamole, it's not too far away from like, you know, like a Mexican style bean. So I reckon it, it could work. <laughs> I agree. I think I think it could work. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll let you review it though, because I am going nowhere near that shit. <laughs> that could be a new podcast where you just two, take two combinations of food. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> people can write in and just say will you eat this and i'll just give it a go i had a guy at college you used to get an egg sandwich yeah and then when you get to the end you know like where you've got your butters and your sauce and that you'd get like a, a portion of jam strawberry <laughs> jam right and i thought at first i thought what the what the fuck's he getting that for he's got an egg sandwich unless he's you know planning on just eating the jam <laughs> and we got back to the table and he buttered one of the sides of the like the top bit of the bap with jam and he burst his egg yolk, spread oh, that all around, and then he <laughs> ate it. And it, I said, how did you... And he went, oh, some guy, some guy who used to work, we used to do it, and he said it was nice, and I've tried it. And yeah, 
it's 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 brilliant. Oh, that is vile. Even I'm shaking my head at that one. That is that is a wrong one. And that I is a hundred percent true story. That I've had two. There's two food things that I eat that people think is really weird. First of all, uh, this is, I had this at like Frankie and Benny's uh, TGI somewhere like that for breakfast, and it's a proper American style pancakes covered in like your what do you put on it again? Like your maple, maple syrup. syrup. <laughs> That's it. The syrup stuff. <laughs> Jam and bacon. Again, this is pre-vegetarian days, but and bacon. And it was like, you can't have them together. You can, right? It's fucking nice. But that one's quite all right. And then the other one that I used to do, which I think I've mentioned, I might have mentioned before, I used to dip chips in ice cream at McDonald's. Okay. That one's a bit weird. <laughs> that is a bit weird. Like, I know bacon. people that do that, but this is yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, I would say try it before you do it, but at the moment you can't because they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> they're reopening apparently Did, today. Is so. it the 15th that they're opening? I mean, soon. The I, mall by the fifteenth, I think. I, I got I got an email the other day, and I was just sat at home, and I went, "Oh, McDonald's is reopening." And my housemate was like, "Oh, have you read one of them fake news posts?" I went, "No, they've just emailed me." And he, he looked at me really confused, like, "Why is <laughs> McDonald's emailing you?" <laughs> and I was like, "Card member for McDonald's." <laughs> I was like, "I have definitely done McDonald's Monopoly, all right." So they've got my they've got my information. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any weird food? unpopular opinion slash delicacies that you oh you can't now say beans and guacamole because you've not tried it yet but anything <laughs> you uh, you like and or don't like it's it's very rare that i don't like something there's there's two foods that i will not go near i've tried them and i absolutely hate them and that is bananas can't stand bananas and peanut butter absolutely hate it and i know people there's people that love peanut butter i am not a fan at all yeah, it's like there chalk. people who put the bananas in the peanut butter? Yeah, absolute weapons. There is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best description ever. I'm really glad you've said it though, because one of my things that I put down is can't stand Nutella, and I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of like peanut butter in the sl- no. Although Reese's Pieces are nice. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peanut Did butter is itself. Peanut butter. What? Like, it, it's peanut butter. That's like when someone goes, "Oh, I don't like this food," and you're like, "It's pretty much the same food, but uh, it's just a different shape or something like that." That's like <laughs> exactly what you two just did. <laughs> no, because it's different. Like if someone said, "Here's a peanut butter sandwich," I'd just punch him in the face. Like, well, I'd probably just say no because I'm not that. <laughs> but no, I'm not a fan. Although bananas, I, that's a very weird one. I know. Right? I don't know what it is, and I like. I like banana flavored things. I like banana flavored yogurt. I like banana flavored milkshakes, but I just don't like. I don't like. You know, if you get like a smoothie and there's banana in it, I don't like that. I don't like natural banana. Is what I'm saying. I like like fake banana. We want to know why you don't like them. Go on. The answer to this, right? Okay. Is this going to be a Freudian thing or is this natural? (laughs) (laughs) natural natural (laughs) I just don't like. I don't like sausages either. No, it's lollipops a can't go near him. Food. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a yeah. life thing. So the banana flavoring. So when you get like banana flavored sweets, milkshakes, X, Y, and Z, the banana that they they first came out like in like the seventies, sixties, whatever it was. So they copied the flavoring of the banana then, and that actual banana died out. But they had to like genetically modify it to create a new banana, which is what we eat now. So they're actually tasted. They actually taste different. So what you're saying is that's the best bananas got eaten in the 60s when they <laughs> yeah. they tasted brilliant and they smelt brilliant and now we've got like bananas with no smell and, a, and an all right taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although if you want to go around that you're just homophobic towards food, take that one because that's, like, that's more funnier than mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's why like everything tastes different, and that's why like they actually don't taste of bananas. Because I agree, I don't think they actually taste the same. That is a cool. Yeah, fact. they don't. That's the thing. They don't. If you ever in a pub quiz though, boom, there you go. There's your answer. That's a bit of useless knowledge that comes up in a pub quiz, and some yep. fucker goes, "How do you know that?" Oh well, we're on a podcast once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in lockdown, I've done so many quizzes; it's fucking unreal. I don't know why everyone wants to do quizzes. I mean, I'm addicted to them. I've got a folder on my laptop now that is literally quizzes that I've written. But I don't know why it's come about. It's weird. I think it's such a British thing, isn't it? That and jigsaws. 
No one had even <laughs> heard of a jigsaw for the past five years. Do you know what I mean? And then they've just come about. Kids are going, what's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> is, it a is this some new game that's been invented for, while we're in lockdown? No, they've always been about. Well, I fell into the trap. When lockdown happened, I was like, I'm going to do a jigsaw because it, it's calming and shit, right? So I went to Amazon to buy one. And at the time, the only one that you could get that would be delivered within like a week was £200. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <hell? laughs> of... like when you when you make it, does is it sellable as a gold bar? Is that, yeah. is that the thing? <laughs> the when you finish of... it, is it a five hundred pound note? Is that, is that what you end up with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the rest of them were like delivering like two actually, so I got mine mid March, and if I placed the order on that day, I still wouldn't have it now because the ex the ex the date was for June. And then for then literally like four days later, I looked again to prove my point and they were all back in stock. It was I weird. I think I've been buying stuff online, but buying stuff by the date. So yeah. even if I've got to like get an inferior product, I'm like, that, that's <laughs> coming. That can come tomorrow. Whereas this one don't come for another three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy something infer- inferior just because it comes earlier. <laughs> it's true i mean buying some uh, buying some just because it comes earlier that could be used for a lot of different things yeah <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> my neighbor who may be a lady of the night would probably be very interested in <laughs> maybe maybe a lady of the night like you don't know she is a hundred percent a lady of the night oh, i mean i she Probably definitely is, but I don't feel like I can definitely say it is on a public forum like this, but she definitely is. Not. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not giving her, well, you're not giving her a name and her address. <laughs> yeah, definitely anyone that knows where you, Anyone that knows where you live just knows to knock on every door until they get the sex work. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you won't need to because a pimp waits outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I didn't know she were a sex worker. I don't know for definite. But the guy with a big purple suit and a, brain and a massive hat with a feather in and a cane stood outside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. She may or may not be a lady tonight. She might be a lovely woman. I'm sure she is, actually, but I haven't gotten to meet her yet. Not that I would for that reason. Sex workers can be normal people too, Jack. You know that, don't you? <laughs> There's, there's no way that I'm getting out of this, is there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was the Night nice Skies of Comedy Podcast with Jack Vincent and Nick Crooks. Recording from their own home and heavily fucking edited. Follow the matter. I am Jack the end of Nick Crooks comedy. Why don't you? Hashtag Nice Guys.